Hey, what's up, everybody? I have the family this here. Say hey, guys. Video. We want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for watching the videos, spreading the message of rehab time, <laughs> supporting the small businesses that we have. Like, it's truly incredible. We wouldn't be able to impact the world without you. And so, also, Mars, don't say hi. Say hi, Mar Mar. Say hi. <laughs> we want to remind you as you support our small business, to support another small business. Maybe it's somebody in your neighborhood, maybe it's somebody in your city, maybe it's somebody you see online, maybe it's an artist, maybe it's a small clothing company, uh, maybe it's a small you know, restaurant, mom and pops. When you support small businesses, you help out your neighborhood, you help out lives, and it's just cool at the end of the day. So we thank you, we're grateful for you, and keep making the world respect your greatness. And if you own a small business, Make sure to comment below and let us know so therefore we can support each other. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm here with small business owner Ann Castro who has an awesome small business. And look, I know how much a small business can do for your life. Like when you have a dream, you have a vision and you start it and it comes true. I know for me, it built so much confidence in myself and just knowing that I have something worth giving to the world of value. It literally changed my life. And I want to ask you that question. What has your small business like done for your life personally? It really forced me to start facing my fears a little bit more. And now that I've witnessed my potential, I guess it's really helped me to just kind of go for it. I'm not afraid to fail. I think that is the what encompasses small businesses and being an entrepreneur is being okay with failure because at the end of the day, you don't really fail unless you quit. So it's really taught me to just keep going. Absolutely, and I know when you're starting your small business, some people have this idea, they know what they want to do, or like myself, you kind of stumble upon it. Like you didn't understand it would be this big or this valuable. So like what encouraged you and influenced you to start your small business? Well, I will say that social media played a big part in me seeing my potential because I was able to share my artwork with the world and little did I know it was just more and more people kept coming to me and that's when I saw that I had a profit in my purpose. So what inspired you to start your small business? Well I've pretty much done art all of my life but I will say that you kind of inspired me to step out on faith and to face my fears because ultimately coming out of college you know it's pretty hard to find a job and it was either I would try and apply to all different places and they would turn me down and not be able to even meet me and see what I can offer or I wanted to take all chances on my own and just build myself and build something that I know that no one can take away from me. Well you're doing an incredible job of doing that. I know a big part of starting a small business is the barriers. Right? I like to call them the myths, the imaginary barriers. You try to tell yourself, oh I'm not going to ever grow my small business because of blank what was that blank for you? Like, what was that barrier that kept you or postponed you from actually starting what you know that you should have started? I definitely think it's the fear of the lack of support. Because yes. obviously you need support in order to grow your business. But then I learned that sometimes the people that support you the most don't even know you that much. Like, sure. they're literally the people that know you the least. And once I realized that I could impact somebody from the other side of the nation and I have no clue who they are, then I knew that I had a value that was bigger than what I could see. Even though those people that were close to me, it almost made it really hard for me to see my vision. It's those people around me that also inspired me. As Andy just shared with her journey, there's gonna be times where you doubt yourself, times where you don't believe in yourself, times when you count yourself out. As a small business owner, as a dreamer, as a visionary, but what I need you to do is start counting on yourself. Now, we always have these negative thoughts that usually say we're not good enough or we're not ready or I got to wait till the perfect time. I want to tell you right now, you are ready because you were born ready. That doesn't mean that you can't develop the skills or that you can't grow. We all are going to grow. We're all going to develop better skills. But you right now are ready to start. You right now are ready to act on your dream. You right now are ready to start your small business. You know why? Because there's people in the world that's waiting on you to show up for your dream. There's people in the world, strangers that you don't even know, that's waiting for you to show up for your vision. So stop counting yourself out, take your life to the next level, and let your small business change the world. Like I always tell you, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.
by Regents Bank, member FDIC.